Welcome to the second video guide for Blackguards, a strategic role-playing game featuring the The Dark Eye universe and developed by Daedalic Entertainment. In our last guide we introduced the different classes. Today we're going to take a closer look at the skills and talents of your characters. And, as promised in our last video, we'll also introduce the free character creation. But to better understand the advantages of free creation, we should first take a look at the skill system as a whole. The skill system of Blackguards enables you to expand and improve the abilities of your character and is based on the rules for the tabletop role-playing game The Dark Eye. Anyone already familiar with the game will immediately feel at home. And for the rest of you, we'll do a quick tour and show you how to choose and improve the skills of your party in Blackguards. In Blackguards, both your character and the members of your party gain new adventure points after every fight won and every quest that is completed. You can use these points to improve the abilities of your adventurers. You can invest the points in five different categories. Base values, weapon talents, talents, spells and special abilities. Base values. Here you can spend adventure points to increase the attributes of your hero. Attributes like strength or dexterity influence one or more base values that will be very important in combat. In addition to this, you can also raise the base values, astral energy, vitality and resistance to magic directly. The attributes not only influence the base values, but also the probability of successfully using a talent or casting a spell. And they can be a prerequisite for the learning of these. We'll explain how this works when talking about the talents and spells and in an upcoming video about the combat system. Increasing the base values will turn out to be a very effective long-term strategy. But investing in this aspect of your character requires patience. The improvements can only be bought with a high amount of adventure points that, when just starting out, will not be gathered easily. Weapon Talents the Blackguard skill system is designed to offer you, as player, as many choices and freedoms as possible to create your own style of play. The weapon talents are a good example for these opportunities. After creation, every class has already invested a few points, like this warrior did with the talent Axis and Maces. But you can also spend points to teach the character new weapon talents like Crossbows. It is basically possible for every class to learn every single weapon talent. The weapon talent determines the probability of successfully hitting or parrying with the weapon in question. A slider allows you to change your fighting style to be more aggressive or passive by increasing either the chances for attacking or parrying. Of course you can also decide to keep a balanced approach. These settings can be changed at any time during the game by accessing the character sheet. So don't worry, you won't have to decide on one style right away. You can try out different settings for different combat situations. Ranged weapons do not have sliders, since they cannot be used to parry. Especially at the beginning of the game, raising the weapon talents is a very efficient way to increase the chances at hitting and parrying with a low cost of adventure points. Talents Additional to the weapon talents and base values, your character can also learn talents by investing adventure points. This is an important investment for tacticians. All these talents influence your character's efficiency in a less direct way. In combat they have to be used in the right way and at the right time. Spending points on Warcraft, for example, can come in handy when you have to quickly change weapons. This usually takes the character a whole round, which can be critical for an archer that is suddenly surrounded by enemies. With enough points in Warcraft this happens instantly, making you much more flexible in combat. Other talents that allow you to set traps, get information about your opponents or haggle a merchant down to lower prices can also be learned. Mastering these talents provides you with a serious advantage. To mimic the game mechanics of the tabletop role-playing game The Dark Eye, every talent is based on a combination of three attributes. Body control, for instance, which allows you to stay on your feet on slippery ground or when hit with an attack that would usually down you, is based on courage, intuition and agility. The points invested in these attributes in combination with those spent on the talent determine the chance of a character staying upright when they should fall down. A higher value in attributes and talent means a higher chance of successfully using body control to resist an attack or the danger of slipping. 
talents that you haven't learned yet cannot simply be activated just like that. You always need to find a teacher first, who will impart their knowledge about the talent for a fee. Whenever you meet a teacher in the game, you should keep in mind where to find them. Spells Just like in the tabletop role-playing game, only characters skilled in magic can use spells. Only mages can invest points in this category. Like talents, new spells can only be learned when visiting a teacher, but the ones you? already learned can be improved at any time when not in combat. Another source can be the rare spell books. You can buy these from merchants or earn them as a quest reward. Spells are divided into the categories Damage, Protection, Strengthen and Weaken. Depending on your style of play, your mage can become a powerful damage dealer or support your party with helpful spells. Every spell has both a skill value and a level. The skill value determines the chances of successfully casting the spell and can be raised directly. Every spell has four levels that become available at the skill values 0, 8, 13 and 18, with every level components of the spell like damage dealt, area of effect or duration of effect change. High level spells can also create completely new effects. Spells on higher levels are often harder to cast and have a higher cost. The level you want to cast a spell at can be freely chosen at any time. For example, if you raise the skill value of the spell Thunderbolt, the damage dealt will increase from 1st to 3rd level, but always at a higher cost of astral points. On the 4th and final level, the spell changes from a single target effect to an area of effect spell that deals damage to several targets in a cone. The chance of successfully casting a spell is determined by three attributes that differ from spell to spell. As we have already mentioned in the previous video, magical powers can be greatly diminished by wearing metal. Weapons are an exception to this rule. Even though mages have a lot of different possibilities, they are not all powerful. They always have to keep an eye on their astral energy. If they run out of magical power, they'll be next to useless in a fight and become an easy target for enemies. Special Abilities To wrap it up, Blackguards also offers the so-called Special Abilities. These allow your characters to perform special actions or get a passive boon. You can learn these Special Abilities from a teacher. Special Abilities like are divided in four categories. Melee, Ranged, Magic and Passive. With these abilities you can activate new attacks or special boons like regaining astral points during combat. Characters can only broaden their range of possible attacks by learning special abilities, which is especially important for fighters. Many of these attacks have a lower chance of hitting successfully, but they cause extra effects if they are successful. You should always calculate whether it would be more effective to use a risky attack that deals more damage or to go for a normal attack with a higher chance of success. Free character creation but let's finally take a closer look at free character creation, which we already mentioned at the beginning of the video. This is the supreme discipline in Blackguard's character creation. In this mode, you can freely distribute all your character's points right at the start and determine yourself which attributes, talents and abilities will be important. You also have to choose whether your character should be a mage or not. But choose wisely. Free character creation requires in-depth knowledge of the Blackguard skill system. If you spend your points without a plan, you might have to start over again with a new, more competent hero. And now it's your turn. Show us your character and tell your own story, right here on YouTube. Or hit the forums and exchange experiences about your journeys through Aventuria on forum.daedalic.de. You can also, of course, find us on Facebook. Here you can stay up to date about recent information on Daedalic's Blackguards. Background information and anything important is also posted here, www.blackguards.de. Who didn't join the Blackguards yet, but wants to catch up as fast as possible, is more than welcome to register on Steam's Early Access. There's also an awesome collector's edition featuring an art book, a figurine and much more cool content. 